Hello, this uh, video will tell you about uh, the Drishti Paint interface. Now, Drishti Paint is uh, uh, the program for um, uh, creating segmented data sets. Uh, it allows you to do uh, slice by slice segmentation and um, and painting on the on the slices. So, so you can load your data sets via uh, load or uh, you can just drag and drop uh, the pbl.nc file that's the file that you normally use uh, to do the rendering of the data, the, the data sets this is the pre-processed file so I can just drag and drop this file here now when I drag and drop the file uh, the program will first create uh, a histogram uh, and this is a 1D histogram, so it will just do the intensity histogram. And then it will create uh, two files, uh, the file name that you had drop, dot .mask and then dot .mask dot .pl .nc. So this is the file, uh, dot .mask file is the file in which all your tag information or your segmentation uh, information is stored. And then pvl .nc file is just a, um, the header file for this mask file, so you can uh, when you have done your segmentation, you can actually just drag and drop this file into the renderer and you would be able to see uh, your segmentation. Or you can use this file, the mask file.pvl.nc, along with your original.pvl.nc file. And uh, you can use load two volumes, uh, the pvl.nc and the mask.pvl.nc, and uh, view your segmentation on your original data set. So this is the, the data that we have loaded. It's a Walnut data set downloaded from uh, Vorin uh, site. So let me also show you that Vorin data set. So this is where I have downloaded the data from. It's vorin.org and I have downloaded their Walnut uh, data set. So this is the data set that I have downloaded. Now, the tag information is, so this is your trans transfer function editor and this is the tag color editor. Now, the transfer function, as you can see here, it is just showing your uh, the intensity histogram. Um, in this version, you don't have access to the 2D, 2D uh, transfer functions or the 2D histogram. Uh, currently, I'm just concentrating on uh, the uh, the value part or the intensity part, just the 1D histogram. Uh, so you can manipulate the histogram in order to increase the, the contrast in the data. And uh, for the time being, keep it as black and white. Um, so black means uh, basically void and white means uh, uh, the filled areas. Okay, so this is the, these are the slices and you can take the cuts in say x, y and z directions. Um, now, y would be, uh, taking a cut in y direction would be slower than z and X would be even slower. Uh, for small data sets, it's fine. Uh, the reason being it becomes an IO intensive job. Uh, when I do slice in Z, it means I'm just loading a single slice. Uh, it's a contiguous um, uh, reading from the disk, so it is, it is faster. Uh, whereas when I go to say, take a slice in Y direction or X direction, then just in order to fill up the entire slice, I have to do multiple reads uh, in the data because the the data is not in a in a contiguous um, location. Now let's have a look at the tag, tag color editor. So this is the tag colors. Uh, so these are the tag colors. Um, so you will be ta applying tags from one to two fifty. Uh, 
tag 0 and tag 255 have a special meaning uh, tag 0 means basically you are not uh, doing any segmentation it's just the original um, original value and then these tags you can change the color of these tags so for example when you apply a new color tag color you can either apply random colors or you can also apply say from a library so you can apply a gradient say black to white cream orange and so on and then you, you'll be asked how many colors do you want so for example 50 colors so so these are the 50 colors that you have but usually you would cho choose a random for for segmentation and then if you're not happy with the colors you can just go in and and say change change these colors by double clicking so you can double click and you can change these colors and so on now start uh, in order to uh, paint on the object use uh, left mouse button and then drag now currently the tag is one so all the painting will happen with that tag color and this is the help and it will show you all the uh, keyboard and mouse bindings so control zero control zero will be will set the image to original size control plus is zoom in zoom out then increase the brush size next slice and so on so so increasing the brush size is just up arrow and down arrow so that's up arrow and down arrow to change the the size of the circle now I have painted that and if I change the unless I actually uh, tag it uh, this information will not be saved in the mask file uh, this painting so when I have done this painting in order to remove this user uh, painted region you can press escape so pressing escape will remove that user painted area let me reduce the size of the circle now if I want to actually apply the paint so for example I have say colored this area now in order to apply the paint I'll press P so so this is so paint region will I'll press P so, so P now I have tagged the region so and then I let me press escape so I press escape and now when I change the slice I can use mouse wheel to change the slice so I'm using mouse wheel here to change the slice or you can go here in the slider and change the slice or when you are in the in this box here you can also use left and right arrow keys so up and down arrow is to change the radius so this is up and down arrow I'm changing the radius and then left and right mouse to change the slice now this is true for even if you are in say y axis and so on now this was the slice that we had tagged so you can see the mask here now this has been written to the uh, to the disk so no matter where where you are x y or z you will see that tag here okay now this is the tag now I, I would like to reset that um, say for example I have painted it by mistake so I would like to reset it um, you can either reset the entire region by pressing R so I pressed R and now the tag is gone or now I have, let me just paint so I have painted and then by pressing P I am committing it to the disk so by pressing P I am committing it to disk and I am press I will press escape so that the user painted region is is removed now what I can also do is use select a tiny region 
using alt and left mouse button I can select a region that I would like to affect so tiny region I've selected tiny region in order to eliminate remove that tiny region you can use alt and then left mouse button left mouse drag to move the um, change the limits or you can use just use double click to change the limits to the uh, to to occupy the entire image so alt to select a region or and double click to uh, select the entire region so let me select alt and region and now if I press reset it will only change this part so this is the part that is going to be affected so I pressed reset and that is the part that is going to be affected so again paint say paint 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 and double click and now it's so only this region that is being painted so you can you can uh, restrict your uh, operations to a particular region so let me just reset 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 r reset 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 okay now again i have this tag here paint, uh, painted with uh, tag 1 and then i'll change say to tag number 2 i'll paint another region here press p to commit it now when i press escape so let me just select a tiny region to show you the effect now when i press escape because this is tag number 2 that we are considering only this region will be get affected so i'm pressing r and only this region get affected if i change the tag region to 1 this part will get affected so when i press S, uh, r it's the uh, tag number 1 so the area that is tagged with tag number 1 will reset to tag 0 now in order to see what are the actual tag numbers let me just double click this in order to see now actual tag numbers what I'll do is use shift and then right mouse button and then you can see the tag number here so tag 2 tag 1 tag 1 tag 2 and this is tag 0 okay press reset press reset and uh, you have resetted the tag now let me change this and I start painting now when you paint region only those areas that are uh, not black or that are not basically transparent um, will get affected now if you can see that if you see the transform function this area here is not being painted at all and uh, that's why we don't see anything here uh, whenever I paint try to paint it here now if I drag this slider so that it occupies the entire um, intensity range then it will you can tag or we can paint over over that region so press escape now if I change this here so you can use your uh, uh, transfer function now this is this is essentially a transfer function you can use this transfer function to restrict the uh, the operations the in this case the paint operation but you, you'll also be using say dilation smoothing which we will see in uh, the next video or um, uh, the segmentation operation that you can restrict using uh, these the transfer function here so press escape again and now you can see it's it's uh, you can paint only on certain regions and not all so 
whenever there is nothing uh, whenever you don't paint any uh, region in your histogram then that part in the in the image will not be uh, painted upon so i'll stop this first video here and then we'll continue with this video uh, with this data set in the next video